I'm Vanessa Mills with Pixel Paradise, and welcome to the Pixel Paradise Kitchen where we're constantly cooking up new ideas for your holiday lighting decor. Hi, I'm Dave Mills with Pixel Paradise, and today we are excited to share with you something that we've been working on for over a year. That's right, the Leaping Arch Base. One of our most popular products, we now have injection molded right here in the United States. And in a little bit, I will be going over the details of what makes our arch bases the best. Our kits include two of the bases, as well as the self-tapping screws, the bungee clips for the LED strips, and the zip ties, and the double-sided instruction sheet that includes some very important measurements for the tubing that you'll need. We also carry on our website uh, various different lengths and densities of LED strip, and the six inch bungee ball that you will need to complete your installation. The only thing we don't sell are the EMT, the half inch EMT, as well as the one inch PEX. You can get either of those at the local hardware store, or you can do the two inch HDPE from McMaster Car. I personally love the look of the two inch HDPE. All right, so just a quick close up on the new arch bases. So you can see just some of the cool uh, design aspects that we've put into this mold. Uh, one thing you'll notice, uh, the neck right here, it still accommodates both the one inch PEX and the two inch HTPE perfectly. I'll demonstrate that right now as this PEX right here with a little bit of pressure fits right in there and there is a stop and that is to keep it from pushing all the way through. The two inch HTPE you'll see slides right over just like that and it stays on. This design does not require any clamps or clips to keep the tube attached to the actual arch base. One of the other design aspects that we put into this is a locking mechanism here that keeps them together. It keeps them lined up when you have a row. Oftentimes you have several of these leaping arches together um, and it kind of keeps them from pulling apart. Um, just to go over a few of the um, Specifics, we have a half inch EMT hole for your EMT. There's the screw slot for your set screw. Uh, you've got the neck here we just talked about. These are the mounting um, areas for a 10 inch nail spike that you can get at Home Depot, or I like to use the 3 8 inch uh, rebar stakes. Down here we have um, the bungee opening. So that will go right up through here and attach to the bungee clip and to your lights. And right here is a really nice little locking slot. Take this apart. Once you have the bungee clip attached to this clip, or to the bungee, and this is zip tied to your strips, you're going to need to pull a certain amount of tension. And once you set that tension, you're gonna pull it through just like this, and it's going to lock in this teeth. Yep, there's an actual uh, indentation here, so you can set the amount of tension either here, you can set it to be more. It all depends on the variations of the strip length and the tubing length that you've cut. Um, so that's another really nice feature right there. All right, let's go into the actual assembly of the arch base. Now, all said and done, it takes less than five minutes to assemble one of these. I highly recommend having a second person. We do have very nice instructions. Um, that should be able to answer most of your questions. Some really nice pictures on there as well. All right, let's go over the assembly instructions. You'll notice with the instructions, you have two columns, and this is based on the length of the LED strips that you have. So if you go with the two and a half meter, please use these dimensions. If you go with the three meter that we sell, also please use these dimensions. First thing we like to do, cut your EMT to size. If today we're using the two and a half meter Let's cut that EMT to 68 inches. Once cut, it'll simply go right into your arch base. You'll secure it with your quarter inch self-tapping screw. At that point, with a friend, I usually uh, recommend doing this with another person. Uh, start feeding all of your LED strips through your tubing. One thing to note, if you are using the one inch PEX, you won't be able to feed with the female side first, that collar is a little too big for that opening. So you'll have to feed male end first. Uh, with the two inch uh, HDPE, you can feed either side. It's all the same result. So once you feed that through, 
you'll then grab this um, included bungee clip. You'll send two of the um, included zip ties around and secure it. Once you do that, it's time to feed your LED uh, strip pigtail through the opening of your arch base, just like so. This will come down and I can grab the bungee. I can push that through the bottom. There's your opening right there. You'll see this bungee um, coming out quite a ways, but it's all part of the design. So once we send this through, right, we'll want to make sure that the LED strip inside is nice and tight. So this bungee right here will set the tension. So you won't have any uh, LED strip uh, wobbling around or flopping around in there. And that will help keep a very uniform diffused light throughout your tubing. You'll wanna make sure that this, the LED strips are pointed on this outside of this arch. We don't want them facing in or twisted. You definitely wanna keep them on the outside. Once you have that set, you'll then of course have to do this on the other side as well. Um, this is the part where I love having help. You can also use a solid object or a wall if you don't have another person to hold this arch, uh, arch base while you fix the other side. And that's really it. Um, I usually do these in about five minutes or less. Once you get really good, if you have the help, you'll be knocking these things out. If it's late in the season and you're wondering uh, do you have enough time to do this? I think absolutely. As I said, if you can knock these things out in five minutes, you'll have four or five along the driveway or along your sidewalk boulevard in no time. That's it. Thanks for watching us today. Really appreciate you um, watching the video all the way to the end. Again, uh, the website is pixelparadiseusa.com and we have all things holiday lighting. So come check us out.